I had had a video request to convey my thoughts on the PlayStation Vita. For those of you who do not know, the PlayStation Vita is the next incarnation of the PlayStation Portable. It's actually its overall replacement. This is a complete redesign from the ground up instead of a mild refresh. We've got two analog thumbsticks, we've got a touch screen, and we've also got a rear touch panel. And also, if you cannot see, there's a, there's a 3G radio indicator up in the upper left, which means this will have full 3G support. This is more than just a video game system. They, I, I think Sony's trying to take on um, Apple with this. Will it work? I don't know. The reason I don't know is because this thing is not due out till the holiday season. And for those of you who have been keeping up in the tech blogosphere, you probably may, you probably have heard about the various attacks to Sony's network. That's the main thing that's questioning the success of this thing, I'm sure. Um, given the attacks that have been on Sony's network, I'm not going to buy this thing, I can guarantee that. Also, the other thing is that when we have converged devices nowadays, we've got our iPhones, we've got our Android devices, we've got our Android tablets, we've got our iPads, many of which, especially iPads, are becoming a really heavy contender in the portable gaming space. Um, reason being that because there's no physical hardware buttons, you can basically create whatever kind of controller experience you want. Now, yes, there are some that will say you need uh, hardware buttons, and for those people, I believe they've come up with a number of cases you can get for the iPhone that 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 um, take advantage of this. There are some Android tablets, even the ASUS ePad Transformer. I believe will allow you to hook up a PlayStation controller or similar and use that. So for those of you who do want physical buttons, all hope is not lost. But with the convergence of devices nowadays, I'm wondering how much longer dedicated devices like this are going to hold up. And yes, I know it can do more than games. I know that it can do internet and whatnot. But let's think about it. Which would you rather have? Would you rather have an iPhone, which gives you the necessity of having a telephone in case you need to call someone, whether it be it for emergency or needing directions, etc., uh, texting someone, um, as well as basically a miniature computer, a pocket computer. A lot of people don't realize that these converged devices are handheld computers. They are, mo they are a lot more powerful than what people seem to make of them. And that's why I think that the PlayStation Vita has a questionable future. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how it does. I'm not going to get one because of Sony's issues with their network. After having been had multiple attacks on them, there is no way that I am going to trust anything to them. Okay, Which is a real shame, because I will admit that I am a fan of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Um, I would like to see Rockstar maybe port Vice City or Liberty City over to, let's say, the iPad or the Android platform. Um, oh, and speaking of Android, another reason why I'm not sure if this will hold up um, in the market is because of PlayStation's own Xperia Play. That's pretty much the PlayStation phone. Yes, you don't have physical analog sticks, and yes, the screen might be a little bit smaller, but again, um, you know, which would you would you ra would you rather carry two devices that, in all honesty, once you take into amount, yeah, once you take into amount account the um, I'm sorry, it's late. Once you take into account the um, cost of the device, let's take a look at the smartphone plus a 3G plan, uh, data plan. You you also would have to put together the PlayStation Vita and its 3G plan if you wish to go with it. You cannot, at least as far as I know, you cannot merge it with your cell phone plan. And yes, I know that's a way for carriers to squeeze every penny out of you, which makes me hate them. But the point is, I'm not sure this is going to survive, and the reason is because of the, the, you know, again, converged devices, cost, PlayStation's overall network. Um, 
it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm not very hopeful of this. Again, it comes out this holiday season. I will reserve final judgment to what, until I've actually had a chance to play with it. But upon initial impressions, I just don't know. The only way I would get a device like this is if Sony really had cracked down on those hackers, really buttoned up their network, and really, 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 um, you know, took security seriously. That and Rockstar somehow locked down Grand Theft Auto. And the reason I say locked down Grand Theft Auto is because um, the current Chinatown Wars, that's a cross-platform title. And it's the only cross-platform title that I'm aware of. Yes, the others are cross-platform, but they have not come to the iPhone or iPad. They have not come to any Nintendo consoles. And Nintendo, I can understand, is trying to promote a family-friendly image. And I guess converting something like, especially Grand Theft Auto 4, over to, say, the iPad would probably be a lot of work. So I can understand them not wanting to do it, though, I, though um, at the same time, you again it's it's you have to ask yourself is one title worth um you know worth getting a system especially when if you compare what a smartphone can do to this it really does make you think i'm not really holding any cards for this again we'll have to wait and see how it turns out but i'm just sort of eh. Good luck, Sony. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome, and have a nice day.